Is Trump going to win an election? <laughs> well, you know, yeah, I've said that. Feel, he's going to play to a certain base. He's going to play to the banking crowd. But I would not be surprised if in two months, if he starts playing to the crypto crowd to get a certain amount of votes in and DeSantis stepped down, gave yeah. the endorsement. I'm I wondering think, if this is a part of his political strategy. I think this week starts the political campaign for president. I think um, South Carolina, I believe, primaries are this week. Uh, I, I think Nikki Haley will be out of it by the end of this week. Yeah, and it'll just Especially be. Especially after she said racism don't exist. Use your native name. <laughs> that was that was beyond that's that insane <laughs> i will say this <laughs> not your native name and neither is uh, Haley. Uh, what man. yeah i will say this i feel like um <laughs> all of the politicians sh should speak to us um because uh we have a platform for the people so i will be i don't want to i don't want to i don't want to give too many predictions on this because i do want to remain apolitical and I do think that the Republican side and the Democrat side should speak to us. I think that they should come to invest fast. I think that they should they should um, answer the hard questions, the tough questions. Yeah, the tough questions for sure. So I, I will reserve. Yeah. But I, I've said in the past that I think that Donald Trump is going to win. Um, but let's uh, let's uh, tread lightly. Let's on that. Yeah, let's let's, let's ask the questions. Lightly. Let's let's hear the answers. Uh, and let's form our own educated opinions. Um, and then, you know, based on those answers, let's vote. Look, I, I've it, seen, I've seen a lot of people speaking and shout out to Charlemagne. I've seen what, uh, him and Angela Rye and Tiffany Cross, uh, shout out to them. They, their new show, yeah, uh, fire. Native, Native Land Pod, which is doing incredible, but they're speaking the language that we've been speaking for a while now, right? Like where it's not just, Hey, this is the black vote and it's going to be automatic. Nah, we've done that for too long. And we've said that for uh, multiple elections, but it's at a point now where we have readily uh, available information. We have more economic, I shouldn't say more economic, but we are starting to see um, people have more economic prowess, especially in our community, right? Like I know yeah. more people with money than I've ever known in the past 10 years, in the past five Absolutely. years, right? Um, and so with money comes power and with power comes influence. Um, and so that is changing. Uh, the landscape is changing. And so let's see. Let's see what happens. But I, I, I agree with you. I think that both sides should should come to the forefront and, and answer some of the tough questions if they're going to rely on a base that can pretty much sway an entire uh, national election. If I had to, if I had to pick today, I would say that I, I have a hard. Was time. that a politically correct answer? I have a hard for sure. <laughs> I have a hard time finding how Donald Trump loses. I have a I have a hard time seeing it's getting him harder and harder to find a reason. I have a hard pathway to see him, but it doesn't mean that he can't lose. The Democrats are going to have a lot of money, and um, Biden just he's he, billions of dollars of student loans every other day. Um, yeah, it's getting yeah it's getting dropped off. Yeah, so I think they, they, yeah. they're going to fight. The Democrats are going to fight. I think that they they do have some good talking points. They just have to communicate it. They haven't they haven't done a good job of communication. They got they got to communicate their talking points. Um, but the wind, the wind is probably in Donald Trump's favor right now, but I, I, I will be interested to see what they can do. Uh, I definitely think that the vice president needs to be a little bit more vocal and speak out a little bit more, um, because, Absolutely. Hey, let's face it. She, she has a good chance of becoming president if, um, Joe Biden gets reelected. Um, so I mean, it's just reality. <laughs> So I, 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 you know, I think that she needs to um, be more in the forefront. Yeah, I think that would be helpful for sure, especially as as a black woman, for sure. So um, it's going to be interesting. Yeah, yeah, it starts. It starts now. It starts now for sure. Yeah, uh, DeSantis uh, dropped out. Nikki Haley, I think, is also an extremely dangerous person because once again, Absolutely. I think that I think that. Um, if you're willing to say anything, then what kind of person are you? And um, for her to uh, say that America has never been a racist country and then to double down on it and to say, well, its intentions were good. What, in what intentions are you referring to? Even in the Constitution, it said black people are three fifths of a man. Yeah, that, um, that was interesting because she kept reiterating the point of every man was created equal when she honestly probably did she revisit the three fifths compromise. 
Well, yeah, I mean, you have a country that was founded on on slavery, and then um, Jim Crow, yeah, and then the whole civil rights movement. Black people wasn't even allowed to drink from the same water fountain as a yeah. white person. That's pretty racist, if I, I would say so. Then you then you yeah. talk about the the Japanese internment camps. Then you talk about you know Chinese Americans when they came over and they was working the 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 railroad line you talk about native american massacre um which never talked about just literally took took the land and put them on reservations um then you then you talk about mass incarceration and you talk about uh crime bill redlining redlining for sure but um you know a crime bill that gave a hundred times more for crack cocaine than powdered cocaine when it's chemically the same exact substance but 90% 90% of crack users and crack dealers were black people and 90% of white cocaine users and cocaine dealers were white people. That's that's racism. Um, man, we can kind of go down the line here. So I think that, you know, I get it that you have to rally up support for, um, you know, ignorant white people. But that's not the best way to go about it. I don't think that that's the best way to go about it. And yeah, her herself, she's Indian. And um, she changed her name, and she actually looks different than she used to look. I don't, I don't know what happened, but I, so, I feel like it's in a lot of assimilation. So, and if you if you have to try that hard to assi- assimilate, then there's obviously a reason that you're trying to assimilate. Yep. It's not, it's not because you just want to. It's because you feel um, uncomfortable with who you are, and that's because America's built on racism. Absolutely. Number one, a financial product that got the country off was us. So set the episode 70 has not changed. Most of the uh, once again, if reparations were given, it would bankrupt the world, not just the United States of America. So for her to say that was tasteless at best. So. Yeah. 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 And the political system is never going to change. So. (laughs) Just so you the, the players may change. The system itself is never going to change. That it is designed that way intentionally. So, but hopefully we can have some candidates who actually speak the truth. And um, but we have to start voting in blocks. And if not, we don't get what we need. We cannot give our votes to that candidate just because. That's right. What we do know is that whether it's Donald Trump or it's Joe Biden, we still need to be investing. <laughs> 